This is Seth David, your Dean of Beans with SchoolofBookkeeping.com, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how do I get rid of those no balance accounts on my reports in QuickBooks Online. Categories are showing up on reports with no balance. This is the essence of the question that came in on our answers forum right here at SchoolofBookkeeping.com, available to registered students. The question again is, I'm uh, in QBO, I'm running a balance sheet report. And categories that have no transactions and no balance are showing up on the balance sheet. Since there is no balance and no transactions, I don't know why they're on the report. Any ideas on why they show up and how to stop them from appearing? So I'm guessing that our question asker would like to see a report that looks more like this, where the only rows that appear are rows that actually have balances in them. Let's go to customize the report. Let's go to rows and columns. Let's see what happens if I change my show row setting to all and then run the report. And this, I'm guessing, is the essence of the problem that our question asker is describing. When I change that setting to all, it shows everything, regardless of whether or not there's a balance there. So if that's what you're seeing, then the fix, of course, is to go to Customize, go to Rows and Columns, and change it to Active so it only shows Active. Non-zero also should show only those items that don't have zero. Now, what that means, by the way, is sometimes you'll have an expense account, let's say, which has uh, an amount going in and right back out of it, the same amount, so that ultimately the account zeroes out. But it still has activity inside of that zero. It has plus 100, minus 100. In a case like that, that account will normally show up on your report with the zero dollar balance there. So non-zero will essentially tell it if it nets out to zero, then don't show it in that case either. So those are your options. That's how you fix the problem. And that's how you customize your reports in QuickBooks Online to decide whether or not you want non-zero or for that matter, rows with no transactions showing up on your reports. I hope this answers the question satisfactorily. If not, please post a follow-up comment or question. As always, I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.